Welcome back guys, episode number three. Today we're going to do some tinker. Tinker, tinker, tinker. I've been wanting to do some tinker for a little bit since I started, so we're almost ready to go. I mean, not almost, I guess we are pretty much ready to go. So um, I've looked up what I need to do. I've read the books a little bit and I've got a bit of an idea of um, what I've got to do. Today we're going to make a hammer, which I think I spoke about in the last episode. We're going to make a hammer, so we're going to do that this time and we're going to go and check out how it works. I want to be able to dig up obsidian with it. I know Nitro's got one and he can't dig obsidian with his, which is a bit of a bummer because obsidian is a pain and if you can do nine blocks at, at once, why not? So we're going to do ours with obsidian and um, so here we go. So we must well, let's get started. Now we have, we have done quite a bit since I recorded last. Um, I won't show you at all, but um, one little thing I will show you before we go is right here, I'm going to put a sandwich shop. A sandwich shop. So I know, I know Nitro's doing a donut shop, but I thought we would do a sandwich shop because there's all sorts of different stuff in Pam's Harvest, Harvest Craft, I think it's called. Harvest Crust, Harvest Mod, whatever it's called. That um, Pam's one where you can get the... Um, there's lots of different plants and there's like 650 different kinds of seeds or berries or trees or, or whatever. And um, I'm just going to skip past all this stuff. But um, we'll come back to that in other episodes, I guess. But, um, I've changed the name of uh, Mr. Mushroom, I think I've called him before. We've now called him Sir Superlot, which I thought was pretty cool. It's pretty cool. We've made a couple of different changes in here. We've got, now got some green glass, green doors, a few more essence berries. I don't think I had them last time. I don't know if you guys have seen this stuff, but I'll show you what it does in case you haven't. We collect all these berries like that, eat them all up, and the XP goes up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, let's go and get rid of that before we go up and do some tinker stuff. Now, I've got everything ready to go. I need to make two or three patterns. So what we're going to do is pretty simple, from what I can tell. It's pretty basic. Um, we have to make only, I think it's three con different components. These doors, still can't get used to them. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we've only got to make three different components, I think, from memory. Um, and we're good to go. I got my books finally. I've had a bit of a read. So I've got a general idea of what I'm doing. I've got plenty of stuff in here. I've got some obsidian. Now, you need the obsidian in your tool as the head, I think you need it as, to be able to dig up obsidian. Otherwise, the max you can dig up is a diamond. You can't dig up anything harder than that. Um, we've got some iron in there to do... Um, I don't think you need what's called a binding in this. You need, uh, I think it's called a tough rod. And um, we've got some gold to make the plates to make that stuff. And we also need to make the... Um, the plates that look like creeper heads, so we need to get a couple of those going as well. But what we'll do first is we'll jump into is this the one the stencil table? So we've already got it sort of set. So we need uh, the tool rod. Is it the tool rod? I don't think it is the tool rod. Let's have a look. I think it's the tough rod. That's not it. Tough rod. That's what's that? Knife blade. That's not it. Is that it? Tough rod. Okay, so we need one of them. We need. One of those, definitely, I know that. The large plate pattern, we definitely need that. And we also need the... Uh, looks like the head of the hammer. I think that's it there, hammer head. That's it. So we need those. And basically what we do with those is we've got the gold going. So we place these like so. Fill them with gold. What am I doing? With gold. And what am I doing wrong here? What am I doing wrong? I know what I have to do. I know what I have to do. I have to make them... Sorry, my bad. I have to make them out of something first. It's like a template and then pour the gold over them. That's right. So let's go and get some wood. Ooh. <laughs> I'll say that reminds me. Look. I've made a jetpack. Which makes it a hell of a lot easier to get around. Up and down and no more stairs or anything like that. But um, we've got to keep it charged. Let's get some wood here. We've got some pink stuff. We're saving that for a special purpose, which I'll let you guys know about later on, because I don't want a certain somebody to know <laughs> what we're doing with it. In case you haven't noticed, pink trees everywhere. Nitro decided that um, it would be funny 
plant trees all over uh, where my house is. He only did it really because he's jealous because his house is purple. So he thought, you know, if I put some pink trees around, then he feels a little, um, little bit more at home and everybody else feels a little bit more feminine because he's extremely feminine. So, um, yeah, that's why he's done that. <laughs> but a uh, bit of a game player, but we'll sort him out. Don't worry about that. We'll definitely sort him out. What was I doing? Alright, where's the pattern table thing? That's not it. Is this the one? Yes, this is the one. Okay, so we put that in there. We decide what we want to make out of, and this thing can be a little bit... i got to put more wood in there, sorry. This thing can be a little bit glitchy for some reason. Let's put it all in there. It's not going to let me do it. There it is. See what I mean? It can be a little bit glitchy. you got to put it in put it out. Which is a bit of a bummer, but... There we go. So we need one of those. We need one of those. Wooden tough rod. Okay, so now what we do, let me just put them away because I don't need them anymore. Now what we do, that's right, is we place these in there, then we pour the gold out. What am I doing wrong here? Have I got, ah, uh, I have to put gold first. There we go. So whatever's at the bottom is the material that will come out when you click these little, I'm going to call them drains. I'm not quite sure exactly what they're called. Can't remember. Wait till it cools. What happened there? Did we not do that right? Ah, there it is. Okay, so we don't need that anymore. We've got to do the same thing for this. Okay, so we take that out. Same thing. What was left? The hammer head. There's only one left we have to do, wasn't it? So we put that in there. Same as the rest. Pour some gold, let it cool. Voila! We have our templates. So what we'll do is we'll put all this stuff in here because I guess we're not going to need it again, but we'll keep it out of the way. Now what we need to do now, this is the important part. Now what you make these out of determines the different properties of the hammer. So we definitely need to make the hammerhead out of obsidian. Okay, so we need to go around to the smeltery controller, I think it's called. Click on obsidian, and let's make the head out of obsidian. Okay, come on, come on, come on. I'm smelting! <laughs> cool, there we go, so that's one part done. And we make the remainder out of this. I'm going to make it out of iron, So I think iron's a pretty... It's got decent properties all around. Nothing great, I don't think, but it's good all around. So we're going to make that. I'm not quite sure if you change the material of the actual handle, so to speak, how much difference or benefit you make. Because I'm obviously not that experienced at it yet. Okay, and we need two of these. So I'm going to make these out of iron as well. There should be enough in there, hopefully. We'll get them going. And then we'll go down and we'll find some obsidian. We'll see how it works. I don't, I'm not sure how it's going to go breaking up obsidian, whether you're going to lose a lot into lava if it's underneath or whatever. I don't know how I'm going to get around that, but... Because I know when I dig them up, normally I tend to lose some, which is a bit of a pain. But with the drill, it's not too bad. They don't take too long to dig up, but it's still a pain when you've dug it. And it doesn't work. Come on. Let's get it all running out of iron. Please tell me I'm not running out of iron. I think I might be out of iron. No, just made it. All right, so now what we're going to do is just make the hammer now. Just stick it in here. You find the pattern you want, which is... Oh, it's the tool forge, obviously, but you can um, choose which one you want. Pretty self-explanatory, really. You chuck them in there like that, like so. And there's your hammer. Now, it's not completely finished. Uh, we are going to put um, a few little improvements on it. Now, I've just got to remember which one does that. Not that one. It's not that one. That's the pattern builder. Is it that one? Here it is. That's it. Okay, so if we put that on there, that'll put a diamond tip. So from what I... Uh, that's durability, I think. Gives it more durability. So it like... Yeah, look, see? Durability plus 500. We'll put that back in there. And f this come from Nitro. I'm not quite sure how well this works. But every block... You'll see on the side there where it says mining speed. If I put a block in there... So that's gone up. It's quicker. So if I take that back out and put it... Back, apparently you can keep doing it, but only to a certain amount. 8.49... 
And again. Let's try to see how far we can go. So it's getting up there now. Wow. The main way to repair to it. No, so that's it. So what was that? About seven, I think that was. So what are we going to call it? What are we going to call this thing? Hmm. I don't know. We'll worry about that later. Anyway, so we've got it so far. I might. Let's see if we can do that with diamond. Can you do that again? No, you can only do it once. Bummer. So there you have it. All right. So there's our hammer. I'm just going to place these plates up out of the way. Because what am I doing? We'll eat here in a second. Place these up out of the way. In case we want to make more. Because I know there is lots of different variations you can do. Oh, what happened there? A little bit glitchy. Yeah, there we go. So we'll keep them up out of the way. We'll put the red sail. I think we'll keep some more diamonds. Did I have diamonds? I think I had diamonds up here, didn't I? I did. There you go. So we'll chuck them up there. Keep them out of the way. So we've got them for later. We'll go and check out this hammer and see how it goes. <laughs> Hopefully. It works really well because I know digging up obsidian is a pain in the ring. And I hate doing it. But, um... Let's go check this baby out. Alright, so we'll head down to the mine. I love this jetpack. It's great. So today, today guys, I woke up this morning, a Skype message from the great Jamie saying, dude, dude, check your tweets, check your tweets. So I jump on Twitter, have a look. Sure enough, the cheeky bugger had nominated me for the, um, the ice bucket challenge. <laughs> now, if you don't know what that is, it's um it's for a charity, and um, basically the easiest way to explain the charity is it's it's a muscle disorder or disease, where um, slowly but surely your muscles degenerate and everything stops and you pass away unfortunately. But um, yeah, it's for that. That's such a good charity. So I thought I'd give it a crack and see how we go. What you do is you um you fill up a bucket or a, or a, you know an esky or a cooler or a tub or whatever you wanna whatever you wanna fill it up. Fill it up with ice as well, and um, Nominate three of your friends who you want to do it as well, and um, you basically stand there and pour that water over you, which is sounds crazy because it's absolutely freezing. But the idea is to give you the same feel that um, someone who's suffering from that would have to go through, which is um, pretty saddening. But uh, yeah, I mean it's it's an easy thing to do. So you might as well do that. And how it works is if you refuse to do it. And pussy out, you pay a hundred dollars to the charity. If you do do it, you pay ten dollars to the charity. So um, it wasn't about the money; it was more about having a go, with, um, which I did. <laughs> yeah, but it was an experience, and it was absolutely freezing. I can tell you. But, um, I know a few of us are doing it, so it should be funny to watch. Jamie has got a video up if you want to go and watch it. He definitely has got a video on his channel. So um, let's try this little beastie. See how we go. Okay, so it seems about the same as the diamond pick so far. Doesn't really seem much quicker to me. But I guess the benefit you've got is it explodes a lot of blocks. So let's see how many we collect here. Or if they go into the lava. Uh, so they all went into the lava, but you could see they all exploded. So that's basically how it works. And um, yeah, so now that I've got that, it's pretty cool. What I'm going to do is I want to make. Um, you can make a lumber axe as well, so I definitely want to do that as well. Make the same kind of thing as what I've got here. And um, yeah, I'm not going to record every tool I make because obviously you don't want to see that. It's pretty much the same process from what I understand. You just um, oh, does not sound good. We're going to get out of here, I think. You think we should get out? All right, we'll try it on some normal stuff. Where's some coal? We've pretty much been through all through here and pillaged everything out of here. One for XP, two for resources, obviously. But this thing would be great for XP, I'd imagine. What have we got here? Let's have a look. Let's... Ooh. Is that some coal? Was. Yeah, look at that. Nice. Alright. I thought it'd be good for XP farming. For a little bit of XP farming. Let's go. Oh, these things are a pain, but they're good for XP. Alright, so let's get out of here. And 
know, how do we get out? I've been down here that many times. And I still forget. Alright guys, I'm going to finish it off there. Well, that that fella. I'm going to finish it off here. Um, take it easy. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys.